Hi, I'm going to read for you uh, chapter 3 in Days with Frog and Toad, okay? So chapter 3 is about shivers. <sighs> okay, uh, go get your book. Let's read this together. So here is shivers. shivers. The night was cold and dark. Listen to the wind howling in the trees, said Frog. What a fine time for a ghost story. Toad moved deeper into his chair. Toad, asked Frog, don't you like to be scared? Don't you like to feel the shivers? I am not too sure, said Toad. Frog made a fresh pot of tea. He sat down and began a story. When I was small, said Frog, my mother and father and I went out for a picnic. On the way home, we lost our way. My mother was worried. We must get home, she said. We do not want to meet the old dark frog. Who is that? I asked. Ooh, the old dark frog. A terrible ghost, said my father. He comes out at night and eats little frog children for supper. Toad sipped his tea. Frog, he asked, are you making this up? Maybe yes and maybe no, said Frog. My mother and father went to search for a path, said Frog. They told me to wait until they came back. I sat under a tree and waited. The woods became dark. I was afraid. Then I saw two huge eyes. It was the old dark frog. He was standing near me. Ah. Frog, asked Toad, did this really happen? Maybe it did and maybe it didn't, said Frog. Frog went on with a story. The dark frog pulled and jumped me out of his pocket. I am not hungry now, said the dark frog. I have eaten too many tasty frog children. But after I jump rope 100 times, I will be hungry again. Then I will eat you. <clears throat> the dark frog tied one end of the rope to a tree. Turn for me, he shouted. I turned the rope for the dark frog. He jumped 20 times. I am beginning to get hungry, said the dark frog. He jumped 50 times. I am getting hungrier, said the dark frog. He jumped 90 times. I am very hungry now, said the dark frog. What happened then, asked Toad. I had to save my life, said Frog. I ran around and around the tree with a rope. I tied up the old dark frog. He roared and screamed. Roar! I ran away fast. I found my mother and father, said Frog. We came safely home. Frog, asked Toad, was that a true story? Maybe it was, and maybe it wasn't, said Frog. Frog and Toad sat close by the fire. They were scared. The teacups shook in their hands. They were having the shivers. It was a good, warm feeling. Okay? So they liked it. They liked being scared. Okay, uh, chapter four is the hat. Okay, so I'll read this for you next. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.